I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Korean Friendship Bell in San Pedro, California. We're going to come right here at the top in the middle and put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a curve line down, slightly curve line over, curve line up, and connect. Right underneath, slightly curve line, up, connect, one more, slightly curve line, up, connect. Come on the left hand side and we're just going to draw a big curve line out. Leave it floating on the left. Come on the right hand side, big curve line out. Leave it floating on the right. Come back over to the left right here and we're just going to draw a little tiny straight line down on the left. Little tiny straight line down on the right. Come back to the left. We're going to redraw that, mimic that curve line up, keep going, keep going, connect, come on the right hand side, mimic that line again, curve line, keep going, keep going, and connect. Right here in this center space, we're going to draw one, two straight lines going down. Come back over here on the left and we're just going to draw Curve line over, straight line, curve line up, and connect. If these are floating, just come in and add two little straight lines. We're going to go one, two straight lines, 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 one, two straight lines on the right. Jump over, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, keep going, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. Okay, come back to the left, little straight line down, come back to the right, little straight line down. Come back to the left and we're going to draw. Mimic this line all the way across. Straight line, curve line, up and connect. Inside this space, we're going to draw a curve line, wavy line, curve line, wavy line, curve line, wavy line, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and connect. Okay. Now, this is a very ornate pavilion that houses a giant bronze bell. So right here in the middle part, we're just going to draw the bell now. Curve line, straight line, slightly curve line over, leave it floating, come back up, curve line, straight line, down, connect. All right, now we come over to the left and we go straight diagonal up and down connect straight diagonal up and down connect on the left jump over straight diagonal up down connect straight diagonal down up connect at the point we're just going to draw a straight line straight line down slightly curved line straight line up connect Right at the point, slightly curved line, straight line down, slightly curved line, straight line up, connect. Jump over, slightly curved line, straight line down, slightly curved line, straight line up, connect. One more, slightly curved line, straight line down, curved line, straight line up, connect. Up here at the top, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Inside the space, curve line up, down, curve line up, down, curve line up, 
down, curve line up, down, and there we go. Okay, right about here, let's put a flat oval or baby circle, let's say better. Straight line, straight line on the left, straight line, straight line on the right. Come down to the bottom, straight line, curve line, come to the bottom, straight line, curve line. If it's floating, just add your little straight lines. In between, straight line, straight line, straight line, maybe one more straight line. Okay. Now, coming over to this side, let's continue this line all the way to the edge. Now come up and continue straight line all the way to the edge on the right. Jump over, straight line all the way to the edge. Come down, straight line all the way to the edge. Straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down on the left. Straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down on the right. Inside this space, spiral, 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 spiral. Jump over, spiral, 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 spiral. Okay, now from this corner, come down to that pole, connect. From this corner, come down to that pole, connect, straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over. It looks more intense than it really is. If you followed along, you got it. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this space is the bell. And it is a massive bell made out of bronze. So we're going to color it green first. And then over the green, we're going to color purple to kind of give it a patina because this stone housing and the bell are right up on a cliff in San Pedro, California, right by the ocean. So it's got to withstand salt air and all kinds of climate changes on it. But this whole part right here is the bell, okay? Next, we're going to take gray, if you have gray. If you don't have gray, you can use your black, lightly colored. This is the stone structure. Okay, this is the stone structure. So basically, what we just did is we built a stone structure around this giant bell. Okay, it's very impressive when you go to San Pedro to see it. I've seen it. Very impressive because all of this is, you can see through is sky and ocean. Oh, oop, which reminds me, hello. Wavy line. To the right, wavy line to the left, that's the ocean. Okay, next we're going to come down and we're going to color all of this gray because this is also part of the pavilion. This is all part of that structure. These are stairs going up to the bell. And then this is all ornate meaning a lot of decorations made out of stone and cement to give you a real, real intense base so everything is solid. Okay, so this is all cement. So you can see the structure and how it was put together. Okay. Now, the next parts are all about <clears throat> color, and I'm going to take my regular green and color in this space. Now, if you Google Friendship Bell 
San Pedro, California, you will see that the whole entire pavilion is intricately colored with all kinds of colors and Korean lettering. Okay, but I'm going to take some artistic license here and just kind of put what I think is important. Now I'm going to take my blue-green and I'm going to make straight lines on all of these spaces. Okay, and it is brightly colored with many colors. I'm going to use red as my contrasting, highly contrasting colors. It's extremely colorful. It's beautiful. One of the most beautiful things I've seen in a long time that's local. You can go and see it here if you live in Los Angeles like I do. So you've got all of these. I'm putting little red stripes in between my turquoise blue, my blue-green. Next, we're going to do all of this space, yellow-green, and again, this is highly decorated. I'm just doing minimal. Next, we come in, they use a lot of red, so we're going to put red on our pillars here, and we're going to put red on our, they almost look like triangles, all the way across. Now, like I said, you can Google this and see the range of colors and decorations. I'm just giving you a base. If you want to get more into the decorative part, go for it. It's really beautiful. So that is all red. And I think I used orange on the top part of my curved line on this space all the way across and yellow on the bottom. Okay? Now, what you have to realize is that this is an Angels Gate Park in San Pedro. And it's literally up on like a cliff almost or a mountain or it's looking out. So it looks out. This is all open and you go through it and it's the ocean. You see the ocean. So I'm doing my blue green using my ocean as part of my color drawing. Then you come in with your regular blue, and this is the sky. It's just a beautiful scene. Beautiful scene. I'm loop-de-looping just to... You'll do a way better job than me. But the drawing and the coloring, it's all up to you on how intense you want to go for it. This is minimal. Google it and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is the Korean friendship bell. A massive bronze bell housed in a stone pavilion in San Pedro, California. They ring it five times a year. Okay, bye-bye.